Welcome to Podfluence, the podcast that helps professional communicators tune up their presentation skills to increase your impact, influence, and authority. My name is John Ball, and my mission is to provide you, the professional communicator, with everything you need to maximize your performance on the stage, in interviews, training, hosting media, or leading your team. If you want top-level professional and personal presentation skills, make sure you follow the show. So welcome to the show. And for some of you, welcome back. If you are an original listener to the show, then thank you for sticking with us. This show has been on hiatus for almost an entire year. And I think by the time I publish this, it might well be a full year before an episode is released. And you may be wondering what has been going on. Why has the show been away? Let me just quickly address that and then get into why the show has come back. I have been very fortunate over the last year to start working alongside the Speaker Lab, which is, if you don't know the Speaker Lab with Grant Baldwin, it is a company that helps people who want to build and grow professional speaking businesses to be able to set up their businesses and get booked and paid to speak. That is amazing work. I absolutely love working with them and is such an amazing fit for me as well. And I've been very happy doing that for this year and plan to continue doing so for a long time into the future. It also has required a significant amount of my time and energy for me to ensure that I'm able to deliver that work to the best of my ability and serve the students in those programs as well as they deserve to be served. And so that has taken me away somewhat from focusing on podcast growth and other areas of my own business whilst I have been working with the Speak Club. And I have to tell you, It's just an amazing journey. I am a very lucky individual. And if you haven't checked out the Speaker Lab before, do go and take a look. At least check out the Speaker Lab podcast, especially if you are a professional speaker or would like to be getting booked and paid as a speaker. Within that experience, I would say I commonly encounter people who do want to have professional speaking businesses, but don't necessarily have the speaking skills to be able to do that and the presentation skills to be able to effectively carry an audience with them. And whilst I do think most people will find that those things will come with time, it's not really the kind of thing that we should be leaving to chance. However, I'm very aware that my own interest and expertise by now in influence and persuasion skills and platform presentation skills is more than adequate to be able to lead this journey for you and refocus this podcast onto professional communication skills, mainly in the area of presentation. It really is about how we hold ourselves, how we project ourselves out into the world, and the energy that we put into things, and our ability to be present in particular situations, and also our ability to have emotional range and be able to take people on a journey with us. And if you really want to lead, people often particularly admire Steve Jobs as a leader, the late Steve Jobs. Understandably so. Now, regardless of whether he was a bit of an asshole or not in real life, he had incredible leadership skills. He had the ability to take people with him on a journey and to to tell a story, to cast a spell, if you like, with some charisma, with vision, with passion for what he was doing. And there are many people out there who can do that as well who we don't necessarily see so much in the public eye. But there's also many people who would like to be able to do that and often end up thinking you either can do that or you can't. It's maybe something you're born with. It's that X factor, it's that charisma thing. Those are not things that most people are born with. Certainly some people have natural propensities to be more charismatic, to be more extroverted, to be able to entertain or hold a conversation, but that doesn't necessarily make them better communicators. It can often sometimes make them more naturally interested in other people, which does help hugely in being more interesting yourself. And so if you want to be interesting, be interested in other people, that's definitely true. But books like How to Win Friends and Influence People wouldn't have anything like the level of popularity that they do if these skills weren't essential. And one of my favorite books, other than how to Win Friends and Influence People, which is I still think is an amazing book, even though some elements are dated. I also love Influence the Psychology of Persuasion by Robert Cialdini. 
And over the years, I've been thinking about how there are many elements of influence and persuasion that Robert Cialdini doesn't talk about. And I think generally he is talking in more in terms of individual influence that we're able to have on people, and also in terms of influence and persuasion skills that can be easily learned or adapted to. I want this show to be something for professional communicators, people who are primarily speaking for a living, whether that is as professional speakers or as coaches, maybe even as lecturers, trainers, business owners, business leaders. If your role requires you to be able to communicate to other people as effectively as possible, and sometimes in large groups, then this show should be a great resource for someone like you. We all need to hone and practice our personal and professional presentation skills. Outside of the world of politics or professional media, very few people get media training. And often the media training that you would get in, even in the political industry, it probably would be helpful, but it may not be quite so relevant. Like the ability to not properly answer a question isn't necessarily something that's going to help you out if you're going and being interviewed on a podcast or something like that. So we probably don't need to worry about those elements of media training so much. But being able to be a little bit interesting and not drone on about yourself or your life without giving the person interviewing an opportunity to ask you questions or to interject at various points because you love the sound of your own voice or because you are just so used to carrying on speaking even when people are trying to interrupt you, not good. And those things do not help you to come across well professionally. But also there are influence and persuasion skills that we need to master. And as I always have with the show and always will, we need to stay ethical with those as well. The influence and persuasion tools, like any tool, can be used for good or bad. I want to encourage you to use your tools of influence and persuasion for positive ends. However, that is something I cannot control, but it is something I want the show to continue to examine as it has done since its very first episode. A few years ago, I did start to focus the show in far more on podcast guesting and how you podcast guesting and maybe even po podcast hosting skills as well to a degree. I'm not going to lose that. I think we'll keep that as part of things. It just didn't make sense anymore to keep that as the central focus of the show. It is a little bit too tight of a niche to some degree. And there are certainly people out there who are working that niche incredibly well. But helping you become an amazing podcast guest isn't really strictly my goal because I don't really want to do the sort of agency side of that or getting, helping people get onto podcasts and stuff like that. It's like, it doesn't interest me. What interests me, <laughs> sorry about it, but what really interests me more is helping you when you are on those shows be able to come across really well and to be actually amazing. Someone who people will really want to listen to, someone who has a ton of value. And that requires putting in a bit of work. I want to help people develop their charisma. I want to take a look at the influence levers that Bob Cialdini forgets about or, or maybe, well, maybe neglected or maybe chose not to include in his book. But ultimately, I've decided to bring the show back because there is still a demand for it. And the public is, is ultimately, <laughs> it is your support as listeners that has brought the show back when I was probably going to cancel it and just start another show. So I, I have done that. I have started another podcast with my good friend, Angela Bezignano, which is called The Coaching Clinic, where we are helping people to build and grow successful and sustainable coaching practices with all the business elements that they need to have and with what needs to happen in your sessions and what can go wrong and all those kinds of things. Lots of fun conversations. Angie's a great laugh. If you haven't tuned into that show yet, it's fairly short episodes, pretty much me and Angie every week. But if you are a coach in some way, or maybe you know someone who is, do check that out because you're going to get some great value from it. Podfluence does get featured on several podcast networks. And because the show has been almost daily receiving public votes, positive votes of people liking the show, and the listening figures have stayed fairly high. In fact, they have actually, over the last few months, been increasing significantly. I think it might be something to do with those networks that it's featured on. But for a show that has been on hiatus to still be getting good downloads just makes me think, wow, I think there is still some life in this old bird yet. And, and so we're going to continue on with pick up the reins on Podfluence and bring you 
but it was essential for me before doing that to get really crystal clear on what the mission of the show was and what it's going to be doing for you. If influence skills, if presentation skills and professional communication skills are not your bag, if that's really not your jam, I understand. And that is where the show is going. I apologize if, if that's not a fit for you and hope you maybe will find interest in some of my other shows or, or that you will find a show that is going to meet the needs that you have. I'd love to hear what they are. Like if, if this isn't, if this isn't quite what you wanted from the show, let me know what is, because I may be able to point you in the right direction, given the amount of podcasters I'm connected to, or we might be able to include some elements in the show that might just keep things interesting for you too. I plan to keep that mix of solo shows and guest interviews, but really keeping things much more focused on you developing your communication skills like this show. My hope is that with a show like this that is already well established and has over 15,000 downloads already, that we can take it forward and get some really amazing guests on for you. People who, names you might have heard of. If you're like me and you read a lot of personal development books, there's a good chance there's a lot of names that I'm going to be getting on the show that you will have heard of. And those are the people that I'm going to be inviting on. And, and I hope that that's going to be high value for you. I'm certainly going to invite people like Simon Lancaster back onto the show. Just he, He's an amazing expert in rhetoric skills. We'll certainly try and get some more body language experts on here as well. And, and more beyond that, people who you know, have those amazing storytelling skills. There's plenty of those people out there. And, and people who are just fantastic on the platform as speakers, like really super engaging. As you can imagine, with my connections now through the Speaker Lab, I have, I have a lot of connection to those people as well. So you can bet that the interviews that you'll be seeing coming up are going to be high value for you and that you'll be getting the best of my knowledge and experience along the way too. If there are particular things you want to see in the show, reach out. Reach out and let me know. You can email me, john at presentinfluence.com, john at presentinfluence.com. And if you'd like to support the show, you can certainly do that as well. There are ways to do that in the Captivate website for the show. The link to our Captivate site is in the show notes. So please do go and check that out. You'll find that that is exclusively a link for this show. It will also connect you with the other podcasts that are in the same network as this show that we have available for you. And you will see there how you can support the show if you would like to do that. One of the easiest ways to do to support the show is to leave us a review. Not that it helps people to, not does nothing to help with discoverability, but it does somewhat help with getting amazing people on the show when they can see that people are tuning in and getting a lot of value from it. So if you haven't already, please do leave us a good review on Apple or on Spotify or wherever you would prefer to do that. And if it's really good, I might just even read it out on the show. So that's it. Popfluence is back. And I hope that's good news for you. If you are a new listener, and I hope you'll be following us for the new episodes and maybe check out some of our back catalogue as well. See what you like in there from the 172 episodes that have already come out before. And if you're a long-time listener, then thank you for sticking with me. And I hope that you will continue this journey with me and maybe even check out some of the other shows that we have available now as well. So thank you for listening to all this. And I hope that you're excited for what's coming up. So I'm going to be back very soon with a show that's going to be particularly focusing in on what I learned during my time working in the sales arena that has helped me with my coaching and my communication skills and how that might help you as well. So that's going to be my next episode and then we'll be back with some interviews. There's a few interviews that never came out last year that are long overdue for release so you're going to be getting them pretty soon as well. I look forward to seeing you next time. Wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, have an amazing rest of your week. See you next time.